here from the sea to the sky. So much to see and do all around the Sound this weekend. And Seafair has been around since 1950, and now it's a summer-long festival, drawing in more than 2 million people in the yeah, area. Yeah, and one of those 2 million people is our very own Brian McMillan, and he's down where all the action is happening today. Brian? Yeah, guys, check it out. Look right behind me here. We're doing some uh, runs here, making sure the boats are all tuned up. The hydros are going. We've been waiting for this all morning long, so this is really, really exciting. Look at those things go. They go up to 200 miles an hour, by the way. Wild. Uh, this is Cassie Linkus, and you're part of the J Hydros, so the Junior Hydros. This is your boat right here. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So this is my Junior Hydro plane, and it's wrapped as the Goodman Hydro. Which is modeled after one of the ones out there right now, right? Yes. Yeah. Is, uh, how did you get started in this? I saw them at Seafair my first year, and I saw and I wanted to do it. I talked to Seattle Outboard with my mom, and they helped me get into racing. So you just came down, you're like, hey, that looks fun, I want to do that, and now you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so can you show us how it works? I mean, the controls don't look too terribly difficult, so why don't you come up here and show us uh, what you do. So this is my throttle, and I hold it with my left hand, and when I squeeze it, more power goes to the motor. And I steer with my right hand as I'm sitting on my knees. And when I turn this, all the wire cord goes around this, and it turns the motor. It turns the motor. And when the motor turns, it helps me turn. And I was—I actually noticed this here, you guys. You, she has this this in here. I, I asked her if this is how you uh, kind of uh, uh, you, you shoot it at your opponents, right? That's not <laughs> what it's for, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> when we come back in, usually there's a lot of water in the back of the boat, and my dad uses the sucker to suck the water out and spit it out of the boat. That makes a lot more sense, I think. Uh, is this fun for you? It is so much fun. The kids I race with are amazing, and the whole sport is so close together. We're like a family. Well, as the uh, as this uh, shows right here, girls rule absolutely, and there are uh, another two girls here that are going to be racing with you today as well, right? Yes, there. Are. Katie and Harper are the other two girls that are here, and they are really awesome as well. Awesome! What a cool community, and so neat that you can get started on this at such a young age as well, and continue on through high school, and then who knows, you want to go pro? Eventually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That is awesome. Well, the weather down here couldn't be more perfect. When can people come out and see you? Because I know you're going to be right out here on the water. I'll be racing around 10.30ish today. Okay. okay, fantastic. Well, good luck. Good luck. It was so, so great to meet you. And, uh, yeah, you can see uh, some of the other families here out here getting these boats ready uh, for the uh, kids' race coming up here a little bit later on this morning. But this is a really fun sight to see. Now, if you want to come down here and see some of the races, uh, those start kicking off at around 11 o'clock right now. They're just kind of tuning up the boats, getting them ready for that big race coming up later on today. And if you don't get a chance to come down here today, you can also check it out on Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Brian, that live shot. Uh, how warm does it feel exactly right now? Mildish? It's it's pretty warm. I, the the whole crew out here started stripping off layers, so so everybody the sweatshirts are off. It's all short sleeves out here right now, and I'd say right here on the water, it's, it's probably like mid to upper 60s if I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a toasty day out here for sure. So if you're coming down, wear the sunscreen, the hats, the whole thing. Hey, you know, it looks great out there, looks warm, lots of direct sunlight, standing outside even with 67 degrees right now, for example, at SeaTac Airport.